Okay, let's continue for the series and parallel register. So, can you try this? Calculate the I node and voltage drop across resistance 15 ohm and resistance 20 ohms. So, you need to calculate voltage here. Just we put it here voltage 1 and this one is voltage 2. So, this circuit you need to simplify and get the R equivalent first. So where is the I node? You must simplify everything and then until you get this is your uh, voltage and you get the R equivalent over here. Like this. So this one will be R equivalent. Then you get the I, I node. I node should be somewhere around here. I, I node. Okay, so each of the branch you will have different different current. So different current current in here will be different from current in here and here too. This one will be the same current because they are it connected in series. Okay. Alright, so for this circuit, you need to simplify between resistance 15 ohm and resistance. 20 ohm first. They are connected in series. When they are connected in series, remember the first lecture. So, you have to add them. So, 15 plus 20 we will become 35 ohm. So, 35 come from 15 ohm plus 20, 20 ohm. Okay, so you get 35 ohm. So, how the circuit will be look like? Right, so when you simplify them, this circuit will become like this. Okay, right. So from the previous one, you see this one. If you simplify this one, they become one resistor, one resistor like this. So this one and this one they are connected in parallel. So you see this one, so they are connected in parallel. Okay, since this two is connected in parallel so you use the equation for r equivalent the first one is r equivalent 135 ohm we call it r eq1 previously uh, we add uh, 15 ohm plus 20 ohm so it will become 35 ohm over here so this one is r eq2 so r eq2 is 1 over 1 over 12 plus 1 over 35. So you calculate them, you got 9, 9 ohm. So this circuit, it will become one resistor and this resistor is R equivalent to 9 ohm and connected will be connected in series with 10 ohm. So it will become like, like this, right? So you need to simplify between 10 ohms and 9 ohm. So it will be R equivalent 3. So, R equivalent 3 is equals to 10 plus 9 ohm. So, it will be 19, 19 ohm. So, this one you combine together is become one resistor that have R equivalent 3 equals to 19 ohm. Okay. Then, how the circuit will be look like after you simplify them? Alright. So, this one like this. So, this 3 circuit, 19 ohm, which is R equivalent already. And this one is 6 ohm, this one is 5 ohm. So, this circuit, if you simplify them, they will be look like this. Actually, there are 3 branch that connected in series, which is 5 ohm, 6 ohm and 19 ohm. So, get the R equivalent 4, which is equals to 1 over 1 over 5 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 19. So, it will become, uh, you calculate them by your calculator and then you get 2.38 ohm. Okay. So, you already solved these three uh, branches and then how the circuit will be look like. So, it look like, like this. This one is R equivalent 4. R equivalent 4 is connected in series with 10 ohm. So, when they are connected in series, so R equivalent 5 will be 10 ohm 
plus 2.38 ohm. So, A will become 12.38 ohm. So, this is the R equivalent total. So, R equivalent total is equal to 12.38 ohm. So, then you can calculate the I note. Alright. So, I note. So, remember, you have to simplify the circuit until it become like this. Then, you can calculate the I note. Okay. V equals to IR. V is the voltage that being supplied. So, it's 20 volt equals to I. I will be I note times R is R equivalent. So, you got I note equals to 1.6155 ampere. Alright. So, this one, you already solved the problem. The problem needs you to calculate the I note and the resistance at the end. Alright. Okay. So, you can now calculate the resistance R1 and R2. R1 and R2, we refer to, remember, the branch at the end where you already add previously between 15 ohm and 20 ohm. Okay, back to... You have to open back the circuit. Alright. Okay. When I node is equal to 1.6155 ampere. Then you can use the R equivalent 5 circuit. Alright. To get the V1. V across voltage across 10 ohm. And voltage across 2.38 ohm. Alright. So I already simplified the circuit. And give you R equivalent 1. R equivalent 2. R equivalent 3. R equivalent 4. R equivalent 5. Which is R equivalent 5. Is your R equivalent total. So you expand back. From R equivalent total. Expand to R equivalent 4. R equivalent 3. 2 and 1. To get back to. Uh, the To calculate the, the voltage. Okay from here. You can calculate the voltage across 10 ohm. And voltage across R equivalent. Alright. So voltage across uh, 10 ohms. Is equal to I node R1. So I node is 1.5. 6155 resistance is R14 is 10 ohm. Then you got 16.15 volt. Okay. Resistance across R equivalent 5 is I naught times R equivalent 5. So it's equals to 3.85 volt. If you add them 16.15 plus 3.85, so it will become 20, 20 volt. So, voltage in is equals to voltage drop across the resistor. Alright. So, from here, you know that this branch, the voltage is 3.85. Then, you go back to the next circuit which is R equivalent 4. So, this is the circuit for R equivalent 4 circuit. Uh, the one that you, before you simplified, you remember that you simplified the uh, resistance across 5 ohm, 6 ohm and 19 ohm. Okay. So, why we need to do this? It's because the resistance across this one, our equivalent here, will be the, the same. Remember that the voltage across the parallel resistor will be the same. Alright. Okay. So, you remember that voltage across this uh, uh, parallel resistor is 3.5. 85. Okay. Then you can cal calculate I1, I2 and I3. Then you calculate I1. I1 is equals to voltage drop across this parallel resistor over R1. Which is the voltage drop across this resistor in parallel will be the same which is 3.85. 3.85 divided by 5 ohm. So, you got 0 0.77 ampere. I2, you got 3.85 divided by 6. Which is 6 uh, ohms. 6 ohm. Then, you got 0 0.64 ampere. And for I3, is 3.85 volt. Okay. Divided by 19 ohm. So, you got 0 0.20. So, if you add all this current, it should be the same with the current. I know. Okay. Next. We back to the original circuit before we simplify. Previously, you add 10 plus 9, 19 like this. 
right? Okay, like this, this one 19 ohm. So back to the original circuit, alright? So this original circuit, 10 ohm and 9 ohm, they are connected in, in series. Okay, when they are connected in series, their voltage will be different, current will be the, the same, alright? Okay, so how do you calculate the voltage drop across 10 ohm and 9 ohm? Which current that you need to use? You need to use the current I, I3. Okay, because the current will be the same across the series resistor. Alright, so I name it as R6 and R5. R5 and R6. So, you need to calculate the R5. For example, voltage across 9 ohm resistor is I, which is I3 times R, R5. 0 0.2 ampere times 9 ohm so equals to 1.8 volt so voltage across here so voltage you know that they are in series the voltage it will be different so v across resistance 6 is equals to i3 times r6 so i3 is 0 0.2 ampere times 10 10 ohm so it's become 2 2 volt okay all right so, you already know the voltage drop across here and previously voltage drop across here. Okay. So, we expand back to the original circuit. Here and here, the voltage will be the same. The current will be different. Alright. Okay. Remember that at this one, previously we call it as R5. But R5 is contributed by the equivalent resistance. So, R5 actually is the equivalent resistance between 12 ohm and 35 ohm. So, this one is connected in, in parallel. Alright. Alright. So, you can calculate the I4 and I, I5. Okay, I4 is equal to V voltage across resistance 5. Previously, this one, these two, we call it as a resistance 5 because it's already being combined times R7. Okay. I, which is I, uh, voltage, sorry, voltage across resistance 5 in 1.8 volt times by 12 ohm resistor, you got 0 0.15 ampere for I4. Then you calculate the I5 first. I5 is equal to voltage across resistance 5, which is resistance 5 is the equivalent resistance for 12 and 35 times by uh, 35 ohm you got 0 0.05 ampere okay so you got this i and v already so you know this v you know this i okay then you need to back to the original circuit back to the original circuit you know that this one is connected in in series so in this series you already calculate the i i5 previously so you know that the current across Resistance 15 ohm is the same with the current across resistance 20 ohm. Then you can calculate you can calculate the voltage across 15 ohm resistance and 20 ohm resistance. How do you calculate voltage across uh, resistance 15 ohm is equals to I5 times resistance uh, 15, 15 ohm. So you got 0 0.05 times 15, 0 0.75 volt. And then uh, voltage across resistance 20 ohms is I5 times R9. This one, I put R1, R2, R3, R4, R5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All right, so times 20 ohm. So you got uh, 1 volt. So this is your answer lah. All right, for this example. Okay, hope you are doing good. Bye.